What's up guys, Team Natty back here again. Today, we're gonna be taking a look at an MRE and opening that up. And I know there's a couple other videos on my channel where I've eaten some weird stuff or maybe a lot of stuff, but I've never had an MRE before. Um, I've had several family members who are serving the military. Ryan here is actually shipping off here soon. So we're gonna dive into this, take a look. I've got a menu six beef taco one. Now a little history about an MRE. Um, in 1975, they were adopted by the Department of Defense as the standard military ration, field ration, what you eat when you're out in the field. Um, and since then, especially during the Desert Storm era, they went through several different changes in order to be, um, well, just more accepted by the soldiers so that they were consumed more and that they were um, healthier, last longer, all that good stuff. So, uh, Ryan, has got an open MRE package here. Why don't you open it up for us, Ryan? This is this from 2000? Uh, menu five chicken tomato and feta cheese from 2006. So we're probably not going to eat the actual the actual food in it, but uh, we'll try some of the dry stuff. We I mean, take a look at it. Like this is like a little box. Here, up. It, close up. It's got like children on it. And yeah, this one says that uh, the average daily calorie requirement in the field is 2,800 to 3,600 calories for males. For males, 2,800 to 3,600? Wait. Yeah, one meal contains 1,200 to 1,300 calories. Dang, so one of these meals should last you. I mean, day. if you were to eat the majority of this meal, you would have most of your daily calories. And so, like, that's a nutritional label. What do you got there? I don't know if it's going to focus in. Here we go. It'll focus in. You can yeah, also touch the, the screen. Yeah, uh, this is the chicken. The chicken one. So I've got the cornbread stuffing. And there's some of the calories. It looks like it's 200 calories for a serving. And it's about one serving per container. Five grams of protein just for the cornbread stuffing. And this is a- uh, This is the chicken meal. This is nutrient levels in the MRE are based off of recommended dietary allowances, daily values, which are adopted, blah, blah, blah. And it tells you, um, so it has, it has your ration component. On these boxes, it tells you like right there, the ration component, what it is, and what vitamins it contains. So like for your beverage base, which is like a dried fruit juice, right? It you contains some, water. some C, some vitamin C. Oh wait, no, yeah, yeah. Your cheese spreads, it just tells you all the vitamins and minerals that each one contains. And on the back, of course, the ingredients and calories, which, um, let's go back to this cornbread stuff. Like, the list is quite massive. This one comes with, Cranberry sliced, peanut butter, beverage base powder, orange flavored, crackers. You can probably still drink this. Carbohydrate, electrolyte, beverage powder, grape. This is like that tank stuff they used to drink in the spaceships, I'm pretty sure. I need water. Let me go grab some. Add half a canteen cup, which is 12 fluid ounces of water to contents and stir. Allow water just chemically purified to stay in 30 minutes before adding beverage powder. It's literally like just 20 grams of sugar and 33 grams of carbohydrates so to give you a boost. Actually, I don't know if I want to eat this one too. It's got milk in it. Milk and yeah, but it's dehydrated, dude. It's like space food, man. Milk and banana. Is there an expiration date on this stuff? I don't know. Look I mean, at this, this is heavy duty plastic spoon. You see, what are these tablets? You can probably eat them up to ten years, I'd say. Is this gum? Yeah, you got uh, gum. You got your tablet. You got instant coffee. They they do have instant coffee now. They have sugar. We actually don't have the heater for this. There's I I think I read that every package now comes with hot sauce of some sort. Moist towelettes, so they got napkins, and there's some commercial, uh, some commercial candies in here. What is this then? Oh, that's a napkin. And there are matches. For your cigarettes. Man. For your cigarettes. These things actually come with a uh, a heater that's non it's, it's a, a non flaming uh, heater, isn't it? Field ready heater, FRH. Yeah, FRH, field ready heater. This is what the this is what those boys out there have been eating, man. On the field, that's fighting a, for our freedom and hiking. Oh, stuff. does this smell good? Yeah, like a really good cranberry. Oh, this is. I'm gonna eat those right now. That's a, you ain't that water. That you slice cranberries. But can I try one? Yeah. That tastes really good. Those are just dried cranberries. Those taste. Those are still good. It's like <laughs> those are like like you just got them. I'm just going Yeah, I'm just gonna keep eating these. We got a um. It's all made in Cincinnati, Ohio. Huh. This is made in Oregon. Cranberries. These dried cranberries, not bad. Up in the, uh, what's this? This is your cracker. 180 calories. For... <laughs> Have you ever watched those things in the, during the Civil War? They had those 
big old chunks of stuff. They like would shoot them in half because they're so thick. They couldn't break them oh, I'm for sure. the rations. Oh. This is just a massive saltine. It, I mean, it smells. I already ate it. It smells like a saltine cracker that's been sitting in plastic for. It's like a. It's like a really stale captain's wafer. Oh, it's got its flavor. It's not too bad. It's um surprisingly crunchy. Let's see. This is from 2006. This is a great, great this, beverage powder. This is 13 years old. Let's look at this. Oh, does that look like grape or does that look like like some nuclear powder right there? Okay, this is like dry nuclear horse piss. It looks like Kool-Aid. Ryan, I'm pretty sure you add the the powder no. to the water. It says, um, add beverage powder. Keep eating these cranberries. Add 12 ounces of water to pouch. Fold over top pouch firmly holding. Top of pouch shake 30 seconds. We're gonna add some more water. Cornbread stuffing. Dude, I'm afraid. You need a straw. I, I would keep eating the cranberries. They're not bad. The cranberries are not that bad. Are you gonna drink this out of the bag? I want to. Do we not have a straw? You just drink it from a bag. How's it taste? That's what they do in the field. <laughs> That's what they do. It tastes them. like water. I don't know. Maybe it's like so too far gone. Like... Let me taste it. Let me taste it. I hope we don't die from this. Well, if I wake up sick tomorrow, I'm dead. We did it for the channel, so it's all matters. Yeah, it just tastes like water with a hint of grape. I think you might add too much water. Yeah, I'm not gonna drink any more of that. Let's yeah, pour this no, back in the just... cup. Oh well, yeah. I was <laughs> no, wait, wait. I need the that water. That water is good water. We're gonna use that for the granola. Do you wanna <laughs> do you wanna open the do you wanna open the chicken and see what it looks like after all of this time? Oh god, no. Oh this is great. You can feel the chicken in there. We're gonna skip on that. Yeah, no thanks. We're gonna eat this other one. We're gonna figure this out. This is uh 2016 butter. Peanut butter from 2006. Splooge me out some on this cracker here. Dude. Oh god. <laughs> Good luck, man. This is for the channel. Hmm. Tastes just like peanut butter. If we don't need your like stomach pump tomorrow and Tastes just like regular peanut butter, dude. I'm saving that. I'm eating that for later. Okay, here we go. Oh, that's the full. Unopened containers, how it works, man. Okay. I don't know what that is. So this is from 2014. Oh, that's the beef taco filling. This is the beef taco filling? Mango Where do you heat it up at? Sauce. I want to try that. This is what you that do. Does sound good. You get this green bag and cheese filled cracker pepperoni pizza flavor. That sounds great. I don't good. even know what that means. You know, the cheese filled crackers, it's like combos, dude. These oh. are like combos. Or tea of plain. See? Oh, no way, dude. Oh, that is dude. literally a combo. Here's more beverage powder. So this bag is how we heat. It's like chemically heated. Okay. We're gonna remove the MRE pouch and paperboard sleeve from MRE. Tear top of bag, place MRE pouch in bag with heater. This is the pouch. So way of place from that pouch. You're gonna put the pocket filling in there. This one, put that in there. Like open it or unopen? No, just put it in there. Tear off the place and recouch in the Tear here to use bag. I'm gonna tear this open. While holding MRE pouch and heater above lines on bag, pour water in the bag until it reaches a level between lines. We're gonna take this uh, beef taco filling. We're gonna stick it in here. Beef taco filling in the back. There's a heating element in here. Kind of like a like a like a like a hand heater, like a hand warmer. It's like a hand warmer, but it's gonna get really freaking hot. What did you do? You have a bit of a smell to you. Are these all the la what's left of the combos? You ate all the combos. I ate all the combos, and I think I just smell bad. Okay, <laughs> I think I just smell bad. <laughs> so. And take a little bit of water. There's okay. a little line here. We're not going to overfill past that line. So you be my uh, my lookout here. Where's the line? At? This line right here. This is do not overfill. It's just okay. Keep going. Keep going. 
Oh, I think that's that, man. I think that's <laughs> there. a little too much in there, man. <laughs> what are you talking about? It's fine. It's fine. Okay. Oh, God, okay. it's going to blow. Fill the lines. Do not overfill. Do we super overfill, man? Just pour it out. Oh, it's getting hot. We need a little bit more now. And then. What the heck happened? Dang it, I poured too much out. I don't think this is how you do it, but... Give it a go. Oh, that was like cancer water, dude. Oh it's my god, there's cancer water everywhere. Burning my hands. It's on me. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Is this supposed to burn? Okay. Okay. So then we're gonna fold this like this. We're gonna put the um, the heating elements to stay on bottom. We're gonna show this in here. Okay. All right. Dude, you're gonna good. have to learn this. Okay. You're gonna learn this in DMT. Wait, which stuff is okay? That's on the bottom there. I'm gonna show this in here. I hear it sizzling. You hear it? It's sizzling. Okay. It's sizzling. We're it's, just gonna, it also feels warm. We're just gonna, we gotta prop it up. We gotta let this sit for like 10 minutes now. So. I hope it doesn't burn in that plastic. No, you're supposed to put it in that bag anyway. Wow. Oh. Food's just about ready. We're gonna actually we're gonna pull out our uh, tortillas now for our uh, beef tacos. Look at those tortillas. You got a little salt pack. I'm just kidding. No, salt pack. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> those are my favorite seasonings. Oh, fresh. Let me let me let me smell. They kind of stuck together. They do. They just smell soft. I mean, they're five years old, so only only five. They're four and a half. I mean, it'll be. And we got our um, mango peach apple sauce. We'll eat that for dessert. We'll pop that out later. So, mm -hmm. and we're gonna pop this open and make our. Oh, look at that. Oh boy. We're gonna make her tacos here. Oh, <laughs> got everywhere. Well, I don't know if we're gonna get all this out of here. It's kind of gross looking. Oh, you got it on the table. Oh God, Dude, Ryan. Uh, looks like I, looks like I threw up on the table a little bit. You made one for each of us. Yeah, I don't know if I'll eat that much. We'll just, uh, we'll get a spoon here. We're gonna, maybe let's just. <laughs> <laughs> don't fling it back on the. What are you doing, Ryan? Can't waste anything, man. Okay, you're eating that one for sure. I'll take a bite of it. Okay, right, let's this? do this together. We gotta dink it and sink it. Oh God, I'm gonna take one bite. I'm scared. <laughs> you ready? Hey, you gotta get over the plate, dude. It's crazy. It's okay. Up. Oh God, it's like a sloppy Joe. Bon appetit. <laughs> Meth face. No, not cold. No, it isn't. That thing was heating in there for 15 minutes. It's cold. This just tastes like the chili they put on top of a hot dog in Dairy this Queen. This thing's hot. Mine is cold. It does taste like chili. This tastes like straight up Dairy Queen chili. Maybe your thing's broken, dude. Mine's warm. It's not that warm, actually. I let it sit in there for 15 minutes. Man. It's, it's not bad, dude. It's pretty good. It tastes like, I mean, like, I could eat this. It's Dairy Queen chili and a tortilla. It literally does taste like a chili hot dog. It it'd be the chili hot it'd dog. It'd be better if they put an actual hot dog in there in a bun. Why are we sharing a plate? Let me get over this plate, man. <laughs> you know what? This is pretty good. I'm gonna keep eating this. I'm finishing mine. Not bad. I'm thoroughly impressed. What well, is this? The menu, menu, five, menu six? Menu six? Talk, beef taco? Yeah. Beef taco, man. Dude, you're getting paid to eat these things. That one's bad. It's bad. Is some of the things. I heard they got a pizza. Probably be pretty good. Okay, we only got one spoon. Let's see. Where's the second spoon at? There we go. We have a clean spoon. I'll take this one. Want to scoop up the meat? No, man, we're going to have a. I'm going to scoop up this meat. You got mango applesauce? All right, good. Right. Mango applesauce, so. Mango apple pop. That's uh, not trying to touch your meat, but here we go. I got meat everywhere. This. Oh god, mango applesauce. I'm gonna get a little close up to the camera. I'm just gonna suck it straight out of the bag. There's, I think that's the point of it. There's the meat and there's the mango applesauce right there. Yeah. You no, know, I'm actually glad that we got a free dinner from this. Yeah. I mean, this is completely free to us, so. Do you, think, do you think they carry like trash with them or do, like, do they just like litter? Dude, they're on the desert, they probably just throw in a ditch. Yeah, what do you do when you're in war in a foreign country? You're just like, yeah, screw it. Yeah. You're uh, playing up later. You've been deployed. Comment below and tell us uh, what you do with your MRE trash. Trash. So, 
And um, also, have you guys seen an MRE? And which one is your favorite if you have? Let us know in the comments down below. This was not bad. This is, I thought it was gonna be a lot worse, honestly. A meal ready to eat. I don't, I'm gonna give it a four out of five. I think it wasn't bad. It was definitely uh, four out of five. I mean, it's not, obviously it's not a five star meal. If we're just talking like, just like, is it edible? Like, is it good? I'd say so. I mean, like, especially you can't complain if you're like doing this, if like you were deployed or like out in the field. Like, could you eat this for a month though? You know? I think I could. I think I could eat this for a month easy, as long as I got different options. Excuse me. Actually, they weren't even intended to be used that long, but in Desert Storm, the, the troops were using them for like 80 plus days. So then they changed up the MRA to be used for longer. Man. You guys take it easy. Stay natty. Team Natty, yo.